Hello! Today we are going to make these beautiful pot handle cozies. They are so easy. You're going to cast on and chain 17 with your first color. And this is literally one of my favorite things in my kitchen now. So if you're not making these and your pot handles get hot, you are crazy. They are so simple and such a wonderful tool. Now once you get those chains done, it's time to half double crochet, then slip stitch uh, for several rows. This is, this is the primary stitch we're going to use is the half double crochet. If you're not familiar with it, it's pretty simple. You're just going to yarn over, insert your uh, hook into the next stitch, yarn over again, pull up, and you'll have three loops on your hook and then you're just going to yarn over again and pull through. So very, very simple stitch and then just a slip stitch after that. That keeps it nice and tight so that that heat doesn't infiltrate. One other thing about that heat that's kind of important is uh, the yarn you choose. Because this is hot, it's a pot holder, you want to use a 100% cotton yarn which I use the sugar and cream yarn because it's so inexpensive and just so readily available everywhere. Why not? It's just fantastic. It is a little bit difficult to work with because it's not a whole lot of stretch, but it does have plenty of stretch to make it useful. Plus this pattern is a little bit oversized so that if your pot holder does have one of those big bumps or is shaped a little differently than mine, it will probably still fit. Now we're going into row 8 here and we're just going to cast on with a second color just for that pretty little stripe. This is absolutely optional. You do not have to change colors. I just thought the stripe added a little bit of fun farmhouse flair. So you can do a darker blue or you can do a white on pink. There's all sorts of options. Just change out that color get you two rows of that same half double crochet slip stitch. Um, and then you're good to go.
we're going to change colors back to our primary color and rows 10 through 18 are going to be that same half double crochet slip stitch stitch and we're going to just finish up a pretty little rectangle that we can then turn into our pot handle cozy. Now with your little rectangle completed, we're just going to fold it in half long ways so that our stripe goes down the center and cast on at a corner and we're just going to slip stitch to join the two sides on the long side and one short side. Of course if you did both short sides you would then not be able to slip it onto your pot handle. So just do one short side and the long side and that will finish your little pot handle cozy because after you finish uh, joining those two sides that's done. You just fasten off and weave in ends and you're ready to use this bad boy.
there we are. You're just going to fasten off and weave in ends with that last slip stitch. We're done, and it's ready to use.